Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are here with some more Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, we'll start going north now and, you know, battle some trainers up here to level on fly up. Um, as you see here, here's the gym, but you can't go in there yet. And we'll, we'll do the thing later <clears throat> that's required to do before you are able to go in the gym. But today we're going to go north into Route 35. So there's some new Pokemon here. Um, let me see here. We got uh, Nidoran male and female here. Um, the rest of the Pokemon are stuff we've already seen. Um, Pidgey, Abra, Drowsy, Ditto, Hoot Hoot. There's also um, Yanma up here too. It's a very rare Pokemon. It's actually pretty hard to catch, but it's, it's not really great competitively or in battles. Uh, so I would say skip that, but Nidoran male and female are pretty cool Pokemon. They evolve into, of course, Nidoking King and uh, Nidoqueen. Queen. Uh, right off the bat, this is not a favorable matchup, so we'll go into Rocky. <clears throat> but yeah, like, they, there's some cool Pokemon that we've seen now of, you know, the Nidoran. I love Nidoking. King. Um, and you can get a Moonstone from somewhere. I'm trying to remember where you get the Moonstone. I'm sure one of the trainers that you get their number will give you a Moonstone. And that's how you evolve it into Nidoking King or Nidoking. Queen. And they both have really good coverage options. So we're going to get some nice experience. And we're going to go this direction. Um, the thing is, I think Heracross needs to be at level... At level 19 to get a fighting type move, which would really be nice once we get that because we need some fighting type stab um and right now we're not there yet but we're getting there uh we'll go ahead and horn attack there's a sand attack which is kind of unfortunate but <clears throat> it's not the worst thing okay now it is the worst thing <laughs> all right so the thing about sand shrew is it's got really good physical defense, but not so good special defense. So we'll go into Zuko and hit probably with a Fire Blast, something like that. Yeah. It's got Poison Sting, but it's not really that great of a coverage move. The annoying thing is it can poison you. It's like everything's happening to, you know, kind of hurt us. But yeah, Fire Blast surprisingly has really good accuracy for the, the damage output that it does. Most moves with this amount of damage output have like 75, but Fire Blast is 85, so it's actually pretty good. Uh, Fly is level 12. Zuko's level, uh, still level 21. Um, and then Meryl comes out. This thing is a water type. Uh, I don't think we've seen one yet. Uh, but in recent games, it's been given the uh, fairy typing. Uh, but here early on, it's just pure water. It's actually not that great of a Pokemon. Um, the thing that makes it good in later generations is huge power, or pure power. It's one of those uh, natures that doubles its attack stat. Um, but yeah, early on, it's just not that great of a Pokemon um, in the earlier generations. But we're just going to continuously horn attack this thing, and it's going to try to uh, set up its boosts, you know, defense boost. And I'm not too worried about that. We'll go ahead and horn attack once again. We, ew, we did not take it out. So the next one should do the job. Horn attack and the knockout. Now we defeat a camper, Elliot. All right. And we'll go ahead and battle this person right here. This person will have a lone Pikachu. Which, Pikachu's not that strong of a Pokemon, really. You watch the anime, you think it's, like, pretty strong, but it's a terribly weak Pokemon. We'll, we'll probably be able to... What? No, don't do that, Pikachu. That's rude, dude. That is rude. Alright. We'll do another horn attack. Why do we miss? Alright, 
Come on, come on, come on. I need an X accuracy or something, because every time something like this happens, I miss multiple times. Alright, but we finally get Pikachu out. Good. And that is actually good. Good, so that's a, that's a good chunk of experience. Alright, so now we can battle this person up here. And this is Camper Ivan, all right. And this person leads off with a Diglett. He's got two Diglets and a Zubat. Um, with how weak I am, I actually want to switch into Zuko for this. Let Zuko take this thing off with an Ember. All right, come on. I meant to click Ember, but... Oh, a quick attack will do the job. Okay, I'm fine with that. If it does the job, it does the job. I'm level 13 wants to learn Aerial Ace. Thank you, game. You heard my plea. You heard my plea. <clears throat> I needed something that's not going to be, you know... Uh, something that's a sure hit every time. Aerial Ace is one of those moves that never miss. Um, Diglett... Again, this one's a little bit higher level, so I'm going to make sure I do click Fire Blast for it. Um, and I'll probably, yeah, I'll have to go back and heal up after this because I've taken a lot of damage and I've used a lot of my power points. And we'll actually go into Rocky for this one. Let Rocky get some nice experience. Yeah. Um, and I think a rock type move should do the job. Rock throw. <clears throat> I feel like rock. Th I feel like rock throw. One of one of these moves have has better accuracy. I think it's rock throw. Um, if we can get rock slide, that's even better. Rock slide's a pretty good rock type move. Stone edge is the strongest, but it's got really low accuracy. Let's go heal up before we continue on. Um. Yeah. So that, that's the good thing about Gen Four is they made it where Pokemon can't faint in the overworld from poisoning. Because back in the day, that would be really annoying if it was like your last Pokemon, or if it's a Pokemon that you really need it to get through a certain dungeon, um, and you would be, you know, pretty much up a creek. Uh, let's heal up, and then we'll continue north, and there's a few trainers up here we'll come across that you can actually get their number. Yeah, hopefully Omphalee will get to level 19 is what I really, I'm really hoping for. Uh, what level are we at currently? We are level 13, so we've still got a little bit of ways to go. Um, I feel like we should get there before the next gem, though. That's my main thing, is I want to get there before the next gem. Because the next gym has a certain Pokemon. That's kind of scary. Alright, this guy is the juggler. And he's, you know, people juggle balls. He's got four Voltorbs and he's basically juggling them around. Which is a pretty neat gimmick, you know, a little neat theme for a team. And we'll just Horn Attack. And we're actually faster, so I'm good with that. I am good with that. And a Volt Tour. We're just going to do what we do. Horn attack, horn attack. Yeah. All right. And we might be able to finish this off with a horn attack, too. Uh, Voltorm doesn't have the best defense, so... And it doesn't have the best attack, which Spark is a physical attack, so I don't understand that. Okay, that's annoying. That was annoying. No, uh, we'll just horn attack again. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, I'm wanting Awfully to take out these because I really need that experience. And if we don't, we're going to get to a point where Awfully's behind. And I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> I want Awfully to catch up to level 19 with the rest. That's what I would like, and that's what I'm going to try to do. This thing's going to try to charge up power, which, you know, boosts its special defense. That's not going to matter because I'm hitting it with Horn Attack. Um, I think I should have a Paralyzed Hill after this battle. Level 14. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, all right. And he will ask you for your number. Uh, really all he does is challenge you for a Pokemon rematch. And just say no. Sometimes he'll challenge you to rematch, I'm pretty sure. Um, sometimes he'll just call you about stuff that don't matter. Uh, that's the thing. That's that's actually why I don't really call, uh, get these numbers much. Cause, uh, most of the time it's like stuff that don't matter that they call for. They'll just say, oh yeah, I battled a Caterpie. I'm going to use a potion to top off awfully. Um, so the next person that we're going to battle, I'm going to actually want to, you know, change what Pokemon we lead off with because Amphalee is at a huge disadvantage. So we'll send Rocky up front. And it's actually this guy here. He's not even looking. He doesn't even care. <clears throat> Usually, you know, when you get into a Pokemon battle, it's like, oh no, I didn't want that to happen. This guy just doesn't even care. But anyway, we're going to just rock throw. Boom. Nice. And with that, you know, this is going to be an easy match. Nothing too hard. Um, I'm kind of worried of Rocky getting to a certain level. Because then he won't listen to us anymore. And I'm hoping it's not level 20. I don't remember what level it was. But I'm hoping it's not level 20. Okay. We'll go ahead and attack. All right. All right, and we'll go ahead and... All right, there we go. Um, and this guy will also ask for your number. He's just someone that'll ask for rematches. Um, this guy here is a police officer. You only battle those at night. Um, I've got repels. Alright, let's see here. Um, now we'll go this way to battle some people. This guy here is a bug catcher. And he's going to use a Venonat. Which actually I could have had Heracross up front. Heracross has Aerial Ace now, which is pretty good, but, you know, we'll just, we'll just let Rocky do some stuff. Rocky hasn't been able to do anything for a long time. Um, plus, the, the, the next person that we have to fight is going to, you know, have flying types, and we're going to have to use Rocky for that. Uh, another Rock Throw finish off. I could have headbutted. That probably would have been safer. Oh, well. And this person will also ask for your number. Um, and what he does is he'll he'll call you during a Yanma storm. So normally you're not going to find Yanmas if you try to search for them. But during a Yanma storm, they're all swarm. They're pretty common. So all right, let's go down. And I think there's some stuff over here. Yes, there is. Um, there we go. A paralyzed heal. To replace the one that we just used, and we can go further down. And, oh no, right there, right there at the finish line. <clears throat> You're literally going to, you know, jump me when I, I have one more step out of the grass. Anyway, this is that Nidoran I was telling you about. Evolves into Nidoking, um, and it's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. I, I love Nidoking. 
It's a ground poison type, which is a pretty unique type. Um, over here, there's an item that you can grab real quick, payback. Um, I mean, right now, it's not going to do much for us, but um, hopefully I can get a dark type soon. I would like to get a dark type. <clears throat> but anyway, here's a person right here that we can battle. Bird Keeper Brian. All right. And we'll go ahead and just rock throw this thing. We'll miss. Okay. Hold on. I expected that. I expected a miss. All right, Pidgeotto. And... All right, we'll headbutt. Headbutt. There we go. And headbutt will finish off. Uh, so, yeah, this guy here, he uses a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto with pretty much the same team as the first gym leader. All right, and you can just easily jump down here, which sure beats walking all the way up and over. But, yeah, that pretty much clears out this little area, and we can go in here, and what do you know? There's, I think that means there's a bug catching contest going on. Um, real quick, let me... Put Anfali up front, maybe. Maybe. Um, today is Thursday. That means the bug catching contest is today. And you know what? We're going to do the bug catching contest. Yes. Let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right, we got some sports balls. All right, so I love the, I mean, right now we're doing the, uh, the uh, contest. So we're not going to hear the music, but normally the music you hear in here is like really peaceful. Um, and that goes into our question of the day. What's your favorite Pokemon music. What what Pokemon music is your favorite? Um, <clears throat> like we said, the national the the national park the, the music that usually plays in here, really peaceful, uh, serene. I love it. Um, also, there's a lot of good music in Black and White. Um, I love Driftvale City's music, a Litmus Town. Uh, I love the battle theme for um, Deoxys. I love that too. And also, uh, there's a certain route. I think it's Route 15 and X and Y that has good music. Anyway, uh, we're doing the bug catching contest, and the idea here is to try to catch a Pokemon with the most HP as you can. So, uh, we're going to throw a Pokeball at this Beedrill and hopefully catch it, and we're not going to catch it. Which is make my girl a little bit sad. We're going to get hit with a Fury attack. Yeah, it's annoying. But anyway, yeah, that's basically the idea here, is try to catch a Pokemon at decent health. Um... An aerial ace just for chip. I mean, it's we'll probably not keep the bee drill because we'll probably find something better. And we're you know, that would be so annoying if we lost this because we got knocked out by a bee drill. Anyway, we'll catch a bee drill just to have something. Um. Alright, come on. I just need you to stay in the ball, Beedrill. I need I need you to stay in the ball. I've done good damage to you. Alright. Just run away, run away. Can we heal up while we're in here? Please tell me we can. We don't. Okay, we can't heal up while we're in here, which is really bad. Because we're going to lose without actually experiencing the bug catching content. I'll just catch a Kakuna. This thing doesn't have anything it can do to me. It should only have Harden. Um, so yeah, you want to try to catch something that's, you know, a decent Pokemon like Beedrill, uh, Scyther, Pinsir, 
Butterfree, stuff like that. I think Scyther and Pinsir are the best two that you can find here. Um, and you want to try to catch it at full health, so that way it'll have a higher score. Uh, so it's probably best to bring a Pokemon in here that can put other Pokemon to sleep. Alright, let's go ahead and go up here. Hopefully we can catch something better than Kakuna. I don't think Kakuna's really that, that great. Here's a Beedrill, or a Butterfree. Okay, I'm actually going to run away from Butterfree. Because, you know... I'm, I'm Okay, I'd throw a ball at it. I didn't mean to do that, but we'll throw a ball at it. If we catch it, that would be great. No. Probably get taken out by Gust. Oh, you got Sleep Powder. Okay. Now, that's the thing. You can't heal up, so you want to bring something in here that can actually tank hits and put things to sleep. I think that's, like, the top two things that you want to be sure to bring. Um... All right, Weedle. I'm just going to just run from it. And we're going to go ahead... Oh, Butterfree, okay. All right, let's just throw a ball. I think if we get knocked out, we still have that Kakuna to, you know... Make sure we actually get to experience the finale part. Alright. And I, I would I would have a Butterfree. I would teach it Flash. I'd use it as my Flash, flash user. And Sleep... Oh, I could use Sleep Powder to put things to sleep. Help me catch stuff. Okay, we're going to... <laughs> okay, this is where we get knocked out, unfortunately. But we're going to take that Kakuna to the finale. Oh, probably should have brought something. I dropped a... Three hundred dollars in panic. All right. So here we actually see the judge. You know, and he's going to tell us who won. Uh, third place, Abby caught a Paris. Um, scores two. We got um, second place at least with Kakuna. Uh, what was our score? Three hundred points. Okay, and the winner is. Don, who got a Scyther. Of course, Scyther and Pinsir are going to be your best bets if you want to win this. Um, and this is actually a good place. I'm getting an Everstone. That's sad. Everstone's not the greatest thing. Uh, all right. Give a nickname to the Kakuna. Um, we're going to just call you... Debug. How about that? We'll just call you Debug. But anyway, that is the bug catching contest. And we're going to end the episode here today, actually. This right here is the music I was telling you about, guys. This is peaceful music. Uh, honestly, I don't know like how loud it is on the video, so hopefully you guys are listening to it right now. I'd be sad if you guys didn't hear it. But yeah, with that, we're going to, I'm going to go back hill up. And I will see you in the next Pokemon video.